Hello guys, welcome back to SAS LTD deals. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe to our channel to get the best lifetime deals on SAS software. I'm back with another review and today I'm going to review my memo. So my memo is an AI driven knowledge management tool. You can use it in order to save anything, literally anything that you see on the internet. So it could be an article. You can save the article directly on the dashboard of my memo. It could also be a portion of the article or a particular text that you want to save as notes and as for media content you can also save images as well as youtube video so all of this content that you save they are going to appear in a very organized manner in their own categories on your dashboard and the best part is my memo obviously has the ai so you can ask about all the things that you have saved and it will answer accordingly so for example you can ask about the image that you have saved about the youtube video about the article about the text that you saved as notes and other than saving things from internet, you can also upload various files. It could be document files or PDF files. And then you can also ask various questions about those files. And my memo also has an amazing feature that is called memo cast. So what it does is analyze all the content that you have saved. And then it is going to turn that content into a podcast that you can listen to. And this amazing tool is currently available on AppSumo as a lifetime deal. The regular price is over $70, but at AppSumo you are getting this tool at only $29. Now let's have a look at all the plans and features. So these are two plans that you can buy from AppSumo. The plan one is going to cost $29 and here you have no limit when you are chatting with the AI when you are asking various questions. You can upload 1000 content per month. You can also create 100 memo collections in order to organize your content into various collections or categories and then you also have 100 AI writing for notes per month. You also have up to 5 related memo in AI chat and as I said earlier you can upload various files and as for PDF files it should be under 10 megabyte. On the plan 1 the AI is powered by GPT 3.5. There is also support for advanced image recognition via GPT 4.0 and you obviously has access to the memo cast. There is also plan 2 that is going to cost $59. Here you have unlimited AI chat, 2000 content uploads, 200 memo collections, 200 AI writing for notes per month and up to 8 related memo in AI chat but here you get the GPT-40 access so the AI on the plan 1 is going to be 3.5 but if you opt for plan 2 you are going to get access to the GPT-40 AI so if you want to buy my memo on a lifetime deal from AppSumo make sure you check the link in the description below also if you are new to AppSumo you can get 10% off your first purchase watch the full video till the end to know how now let me go to the dashboard and show you how my memo works Okay, so after you log in, you are going to get a dashboard just like this one. And all of the content that you save, they are going to appear on here. So it could be notes, it could be article, image, YouTube video or something else. And the best part is they are going to be organized with their own categories. So the notes are going to be available on here, then documents, then links, videos. So this way you can super easily browse certain content according to their categories. And then there is this collection feature. So if you create a new collection, let me create one and let me select an icon so as you can see we have created a collection so once you create a collection you can add different content on different collections so for example i can also create another one so as you can see now i have two collections so since i have two collections i can add my content from various sources into separate sections for example i can use one collection for casual use i can use another collection for my official use or professional use so i'm just going to delete these collections and other than the collection you also have access to the ai so you can ask anything to the ai about the memo that you save save on this particular section and in order to save links or notes or images or YouTube videos right from your browser, you have to install their Chrome extension and you can get easy access to that from here. Just click on this. So now I'm just going to click on this add to Chrome. Add extension. Okay, so it has been added. So I'm just going to pin this, click on this extension and then click on this pin icon. And as you can see, it has been pinned. So once you pin, make sure you also log in your account. So after successfully logging into the extension, we can see a page just like this one. So now I can browse anywhere, any website and start saving various content. 
so on wikipedia as you can see i have opened an article and for example i want to create a note from this particular text so i'm just going to copy this text or select this text and then right click on my mouse and then click on this my memo web clipper so i can save the link of this page or i can also save the selected text as notes so i'm just going to use this second option okay so the note has been saved successfully so now let me check let me go to my memo dashboard so back to my memo as you can see on this my memo section i can now see the selected text as note so now i can also open this and since it is a note i have all the text formatting option all i have to do is just select a text and as you can see all the text formatting options are here since this is a note i can also see the source link which means exactly from where i have got this text i can also revise this note using ai or i can also extend more ideas about this particular note so let me try this extend more ideas let's see what i get so as you can see now we have got a very extended version of this very short note. So just like this you can use the AI in order to revise your note or also extend more ideas about this particular note. And the best part is you can also add various tags to this note. For example I want to add a tag that is going to called horse. So as you can see I have added a tag. So just like this you can also add multiple tags in order to provide more context about the note. So another feature of my memo is that you can directly get AI summary of a particular page. So for that you have to open this particular extension and then click on show AI summary and then click on summarize. So as you can see we have got a very good summary about this article. So this is how you can use the extension. Other than that you can also save this link using the extension. You can show AI summary that I already showed you. You can also add this particular memo or add this article, add a note or add something else to a particular collection. So since I do not have any connection so none is showing. But if you have collections they are going to show so that you can add certain memos to those collection. So here's another article that I have opened. What's a blog and why do you need one? So this is a very basic blog article about blog, blog writing. So what I want to do is save this link on my memo so that I do not forget about this one. So obviously I can add the link from here. Just click on save this link or I can also right click on my mouse. Click on save this link to my memo and this is going to be saved. So back to the dashboard of my memo as you can see this particular blog or article has been saved and the best part is once you save a link or also images the AI is going to analyze that image or link and then it is going to come up with a very good AI summary. So as you can see here is a summary with a paragraph and then here is a summary even with more details and points and at the end of the summary you can also see some relevant tags that are added by the AI. And a great feature on here is that once you open a memo on the right side you will find a option that is called find related memos. So if you click on this what the AI is going to do is search for related memos on your dashboard since I do not have one so the AI couldn't find one but I hope you have got the idea how this is going to work. So now I have opened an image, an infographic image. So for example, I want to add this particular image to my memo. So all I have to do is right click on the image and then click on this my memo web clipper. Now just click on save image to my memo. And as you can see, here's the image. So I can open this image. And as I said earlier, if you add memo, memo as images or YouTube video or even links, what the AI is going to do is obviously add that, but also analyze that image, YouTube video or even the link. And then it is going to come up with the summary. So as for this image, here is the title. And then here is the AI summary, very short summary. And then here is the breakdown, profitability. So all these details as well as all the tags, relevant tags. And you can also see the source of this particular image. And just like links, images, notes, you can also add YouTube videos. So all you have to do is just open that video and then right click on your mouse and just click on the save this YouTube video to my memo. So as you can see the YouTube video has been added and currently the AI is analyzing this in order to come up with a summary. Okay so we have got the summary. Here is the AI summary. And then here is the further details with various points. So this is basically various content that you can add using the browser extension of my memo. 
but now for example if you want to upload something from your computer you want to add some content or some files from your computer you can also do that on my memo so just click on this add new and now you can add notes so you can create notes manually from here and then you can also add images links files and for files you can upload pdf doc file excel or txt file you can add youtube videos and if you want to request some other sources you can also do that so make sure you fill this form out in order to make your request so now let me take you to another great feature of my memo that is the ask memo so now i have added a lot of content youtube video link note so i have added a lot of different content but now i want to find some certain content or i want to get information about a particular content that i have added so in order to do that i do not have to do anything manually i can simply ask the ai about the particular question that i have so i can ask directly from here or i can also go to this ask memo and then ask whatever i want so for example i want to ask about this nvidia this image the infographic image so let me open this and for example i want to ask about the total revenue so all i have to do is just type my question on here and then i'm going to send this okay so the total revenue was 13.5 billion and the best part is the ai has also given me the source from where it has got this info so let me open this one and as you can see the answer was perfect it was certainly accurate so just like this you can ask about all the content that you have gathered on dashboard on the ai of my memo which is ask memo so now let me open this one this youtube video and i want to ask a question about this so for example i want to ask about this what is game and gen so i'm just going to go to the ai and then i'm just going to send this question so as you can see once again we have got a very accurate answer to my question and we also have got the source so now let me open this particular youtube video and as you can see the ceo of gpt 40 introduced this particular tool so i'm just going to ask this question to the ai let me go to this ask memo so now let me send this question so as you can see we have once again got a very accurate answer so here's another question that I'm going to ask. Is there anything on my dashboard that can teach me to make my dog and cat get along? So this is the question based on this particular link or article. So I'm just going to send this question. Let's see if the AI can answer this. So this is amazing. As you can see, once again, the answer was super fast as well as accurate. So I have got the full answer from this particular article. And the great news about my memo is that they have a mobile app, iOS app. So in order to get access to that, just click on this iOS app. So as you can see, here is the iOS app in order to let you use this particular tool on iOS. And as for the Android app, my memo is also working on it. They are going to release it later this year. And if you remember at the start of the video, I mentioned about MemoCast. That is another amazing feature from my memo. So what it does is turn your content, the memos that you have added on your dashboard. It is going to turn that content into a podcast that you can listen to. So no matter if you buy this plan one or plan two, you're going to get access to this MemoCast. And how can you access that? So you have to go to this particular URL, which is mymemo.ai slash MemoCast. So let me go to this one. And once you visit this page, make sure you log in using the account that you have bought on AppSumo for my memo. So once you log in on that MemoCast page, you're going to get a page just like this one. And for example, you have added two YouTube videos, one article. So all of them are going to appear on this MemoCast. And what this MemoCast is going to do is turn all of this content into a podcast. A podcast that you can listen to. Just click on this play button and the podcast is going to start. So overall, I think MemoCast is an excellent tool. You can save literally anything when you are browsing the web. It could be notes, it could be YouTube video, article, link, files, images, literally anything to my memo. And my memo obviously has the ask memo. So you can ask anything to ask memo about the files, about the content that you have saved. And my memo also has the MemoCast that is going to turn your content, the content that you have saved into a podcast. So if you want to buy my memo on a lifetime deal from AppSumo, make sure you check the link in the description below with this tool you are going to get all these features and these are two plans that you can buy from AppSumo.
So if you are new to AppSumo, you can get 10% off your first purchase. For that, go to the link in the description. And once you enter the link, you are going to get a pop-up like this. And on this box, you have to provide your email. Then click on unlock my 10%. And then you will get a link in your email. Go to that link. And this way you can get 10%. You have to use it from AppSumo Credits gift. And this 10% discount is only for new customers. You can also join our SaaS discussion group on Facebook to get latest updates on SaaS software, exciting discounts and attractive giveaways just like this.